would you hold me if I told you we can just run away? So come, my darling, let me. Like everyone else during the pandemic, we need to find ways to kill time and help us get through what is happening around the world. So we turn to baking, playing games, dropping plants, and of course, binge watching a lot of TV series on Netflix. More specifically, Korean dramas. When we went to Korea, we made sure to go to shooting locations of some of our favorite K-dramas. One of them is Itaewon Class. As the name suggests, Itaewon is the main location of the series. We went to Noksepyong Bridge, which was featured a few times in the series, but more importantly, we went to the real-life location of the Dan Bam restaurant. This restaurant played a vital role in the progression of the series, since it is the restaurant that the protagonists manage in the show. The real-life location of the Dan Bam restaurant is located at the end of the Noksepyong Road here in Itaewon. And for this video, I will be creating designs inspired by the Dan Bam restaurant. The sketches I made are focused on drawing the moon and rabbit that is originally part of the logo. Honestly, it's been a while since the last time I drew something that it even felt weird to hold a pencil. I also needed to look for a few references on how I could draw the rabbit in the logo. In doing the logo, I didn't really want to stray away too much from the logo used on the show, so I kept the iconic moon and rabbit. I brought my own twist to the design by making it more minimal but still keeping the warm and friendly character of the logo. <laughs> This past few months, I don't normally sketch my wireframes anymore. I go directly to the program, or sometimes I even skip it for the high fidelity mockups. So this was a really fun exercise for me. Also, for this project, since I'm just doing it for fun, I also wanted to try a different layout from the websites that I normally do. After looking at a few references and sketching some wireframes, I had a clear picture of what I wanted on the page. My plan is to divide it into three main sections. The header, the menu section, and making a reservation. First, let's start with the header section. The header section will need to wow the users when they arrive on the page. Usually, I like doing this with an image that would best represent the company, or in this case, the restaurant that I'm designing for. The 
The menu section of a website is often overwhelming. Sometimes having too many options is really not a good option. For this section, my plan is to show the most popular dishes of the restaurant instead of showing it all at once. You know, like when you're in an interview, you show your best work, but at the back of your mind, you're just hoping they don't see your messy layers. Now that we've shown the user how great Dan Bam is as a restaurant, it's time to remind them that we still need to pay our bills. So please book a table with us. All the relevant information about the restaurant, like its location and address, are all here in the section. So hopefully at this point, users remember how great Dan Bam is and hopefully they will make a reservation. I'm almost done with the designs, but there's something about it that makes me feel like it's still not finished. When I get this feeling, I give myself time to stop and step away from the project. I could work on another pending project, or just take a break and allow myself to get bored. After a few hours of not looking at my designs, I realize that the header section lacks the impact that will make the users interested. So I made edits on its layout by adding images that would make the designs less structured and more fun. I also wanted to include a personal field into the website. So I added in the stars and arrows to resemble doodles that I sometimes make when I'm bored in class. And with those changes, I can definitely say that the designs are finally done. Cabinet